Let me also welcome on board uh, Atul Lal, the MD at Dixon Technology is joining in on the show right now. Atul, hi, good morning. Good to have you today on ET Now. Uh, Atul, one's wondering, you know, given the inflation that there are, uh, you know, also reports now suggesting that there is an impact on demand for your business as well. I just wanted to get an understanding. What is it that you're hearing from clients in terms of orders, uh, B2C as well? So these are normally relatively slow, slower months for us. Uh, I would say that the demand is normal. Uh, I won't say that it's slowed down, but I think it's normal. And uh, the April, May, June quarter is like that. Uh, the forecast that we're getting from uh, the forthcoming quarter onwards is definitely better. So that's the situation as of now. Uh, on the export front, our order book, particularly of mobile phones from the US market, it still continues to be healthy. Interesting. So tell me, um, what is it that you're expecting from various categories in your business? And uh, while you say things are not going bad, but are they th going good enough for new client additions? So a new client acquisition is an ongoing exercise for us and also the new verticals. So first, uh, sharing with you on the new vertical side, we have already started the manufacturing of the telecom devices, the CP telecom devices for Airtel, that's mainly G1 and OATs. We've also rolled out the production for TWS, neckband, and shortly for the smart watches uh, for both. So these are new verticals for us, which have just been launched a couple of months back. Then from a very large global brand, we have received a large order for LED televisions, which are the higher end LED televisions, which are ultra high definition models. And in the customer acquisition, we are expecting again a very large global brand to place an order for us on us for tablets. So, yeah, customer acquisition is an ongoing exercise and we pursue it very vigorously. Good morning, Mr. Lal. This is Nantara also joining in on the conversation. Now, what we started to see is uh, prices of copper, prices of aluminium, as well as of other uh, base metals and uh, commodities start to come down. When are we going to see that uh, benefit in your balance sheet? So, that has already started making some positive impact. But I think the actual impact is going to happen uh, more in next to next quarter. In next quarter, again, there'll be a positive impact. But then you carry some inventories with the old prices. The actual impact is going to come in the next two to three months. Uh, Mr. Lal, you know, I was reading a report that was put out by Morgan Stanley earlier on Dixon Technologies. And they talk about there's a fantastic management which is out there diversifying but they have raised certain concerns on are you diversifying too fast and will it impact your competitiveness going forward once the pli incentives are rolled back and and are phased out what do you have to say uh, to this opinion so please appreciate uh, in dixon's case the core the core competence of the company is electronics manufacturing uh, what we feel that we acquire competence is that our deep understanding of chips, semiconductors, silicon, passive, voltage management, polymer processing, metal processing, um, thermal management, optics. So all our verticals are around score. If we had confined ourselves only to a singular product or two, three verticals, the kind of growth that we have had that going from 6,400 crores to 10,700 crores in the current financial, we are targeting somewhere between 16 to 17,000, wouldn't have happened. Uh, the second question of yours is that uh, what are the PNI? So please appreciate that uh, for any industry, in its stages of infancy, you need some hand holding from the government. And that's what PLI is all about. Now, beyond PLI, which gives us a window of around four to five years, Dixon's initiatives are primarily in two directions. 
want to build a very large scale and deepen the manufacturing. It generates an adequate operating leverage for bringing out the cost, uh, cost structures and we become globally competitive. The second is acquire more and more IP. So we already have a large IP and ODM driven verticals in washing machines and lighting and also now in televisions. The same thing we're going to be pursuing in the telecom devices and possibly set of boxes. And also we are evaluating building up our R&D for mobile phones. So once you have that, you know, cost structures uh, become better. You have a better control of the value chain. And also your stickiness with the customer significantly. Increases. That's what we have seen. So these are the paths we're going to be pursuing for becoming globally competitive and uh, stand on our own feet beyond PLI. Um, Mr. Lal, I guess, you know, you're the best position to answer this question. What really is happening in China right now? Because, you know, you have high dependency of over about 50% of your mobile components coming in from that region. What is the up update on the supply chain issue right now? So, undoubtedly dependence on China and imports is significantly high. But as far as the supply chain issues are concerned, to a large extent, they have normalized. Uh, we are not under the kind of stress that we used to be around three quarters back. It's kind of normalized. I don't see those kind of problems as of now. The other part is the deepening of the manufacturing and creating more local value addition. Uh, that, uh, again, is a journey. And that's an industry-related journey, which is already happening. So investments are happening for displays. Investments are happening for camera modules, vibration motors, mechanicals, precision components. So I'm very sure the value addition that is happening presently is going to significantly increase in the next three to four years. Nixon has been quite clear and has announced uh, its intent to foray into the refrigerator segment. Uh, Mr. Lal, how are those plans going along? Uh, where is the facility? Has it been set up? What kind of a capacity are we looking at? Have you already started speaking to potential clients? Yeah, so um, we have acquired land bank in Britain order. Uh, the machinery, the technology has been acquired, the toolings have been ordered. The capacity to be created is going to be 1.2 million, which is almost 10% of uh, the Indian refrigerator market in the direct pool category. The products being rolled out are from 190 liters to 230 liters. The target date for trial production is March 23. And Q1 of the next fiscal, the commercial production is going to roll out. Yeah, we are in uh, in deep discussions with uh, large, large brands, Indian brands, global brands. And we're very confident that the tie-up is going to happen soon. Okay, so that's his plans as far as refrigeration goes. Uh, Mr. Lal, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for being live with us uh, today on the show for all the new businesses that you're planning uh, and, of course, the benefit of commodity prices coming down.